Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you put together the motifs in the join as you go method for the star stuff cowl. Here you can see the finished cowl. It's kind of hard to see because of course it's a cowl so it's doubled over, but it's stars that are joined as you go. For a better picture of the cowl, please do visit MooglyBlog.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there's a post linked in the description that you'll want to visit so you can get the full instructions for this pattern. Here I'm just going to be demonstrating how it comes together. So here I have the first star of the cowl. You go ahead and make the first star and finish it off as you normally would. Then you start the second star. Let me get this ready here. Have it pre-made a little bit so you don't have to watch me make the star. If you have troubles with the stars, please do again look at the blog post. I have a step-by-step -step photo tutorial for the stars themselves. So. When you make the second star, you can go ahead and make one point, two point, three point, up to four points before you join it to the next star. That part isn't really important. You can join at any point in the star. What you want to do is look at your first star and you're going to be joining to the point that sticks out to the right. And of course you can turn it, this could be any point, but that's the, you're making the second star and if you look at the diagram and the blog post, you can see this will be the second star, the one to the right of the first star. So. You get to the point where you're ready to chain three at the top of the point. You chain two, double crochet in the next stitch, and get ready to chain three. Chain the first one, remove your hook from the loop, insert your hook in the chain three space of the star that you're joining to, of the point that you want to join to, reinsert your hook in that loop, pull it through, chain the last two of those chain threes, and then do the double crochet, or excuse me, the single crochets around the double crochet just as you normally would. Again, please take a look at how to make the stars before you get too far in the video if you're getting confused or go back and look at that later. From there, you're going to finish the star just as you normally would. Single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, double crochet in the stitch after that, work three single, or excuse me, three chains, single crochet twice around the double crochet that you just made and finish off with a join in the first stitch that you worked into there. Okay, So there you can see, and of course from here I would weave in the ends, although I will say on the back, and I didn't on this first one, there we are, there's the back, I do like to leave, I did leave a little bit of an end there sticking out so I always know which one's the back at a glance. And there you see the second star, okay? So you join the third star, let me set these aside, just in exactly the same way. And again, I know I'm going through this quickly, this is just to demonstrate the layout and the joining. The full pattern is on the blog. So we've got the first star, we join the second star there, we join the third star there. So it's one, two, three. So that's the first row. You're ready to start the second row after that. So for the second row, you're going to be slightly offset. Here I've started the fourth star. I've made the first two points completely and I'm in the middle of the third point here. Again, I'm ready to make a chain three. So I'm going to chain one and then I am going to join to this point, the leftmost point of that first star. So I'm going to insert my hook there, insert my hook back in the fourth star chain two, finish this point, excuse me, I don't yarn over here, I do a two single crochets on this double crochet to finish off this point of the star. Then I'm going to start the next point with a slip stitch, chain two, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, and now I'm going to join to the top point of the first star. So I insert my hook in that chain three space, reinsert my hook there, pull through, and go ahead and finish the stitch as I normally would. Excuse me, finish the whole star as I normally would. And I won't go ahead and finish it here, but you can see that right there, 
is where the fourth star is going to be. So this star, how these stars all point up, this star is going to be pointing down. So the fourth star will be pointing down with two points pointing up. And you can see that right here. We've got the first star, second star, third star. Then we've got the fourth star, which is joined to these two points of the first star. The fifth star, you're going to be joining in three places. And when you join it, you see here, you're joining to where there's already two, there's two options. What you want to do is join it to the chain three space of one that hasn't been worked into yet, the most recent star added. So this was the first star. So you join to this one here. For the fifth star, you'll join to the fourth star. And then you'll join to the second star, because it was the newest star, and then to the top. For the sixth star, you'll join to the fifth star at this point, to the third star down here, and then to the third star up top. Then, moving up to the third row, you'll be joining the two points on the bottom. For star, so, so it'll be star seven, you join to the two points here at the top of star four. For star eight, you'll join to the side, then to the two points, and then the same thing for star nine, to the side and then to the two points. And if you look, and if we can pull out a little bit and see, you can see I've color coded these first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then we start the pattern over again. The, it would be the seventh, eighth, ninth are the same in the same position here. So I could put another blue one and you would see it would join here and here, then the purple one would join here, here, and here, and then a red one here, here, and here. And now, of course, when you're actually making the star, you don't, or the cowl, you don't have to use these colors. This is just to demonstrate that this pattern is going to repeat over and over again. And there is a diagram on the blog post that shows this in much greater detail. But that's basically how this works. Like I said, you weave in your ends as you go. I like to leave little bits that I can trim off at the end so that I always know which side is the back side. Helps me keep it a little bit straighter. And, but by joining them in the chain three spaces as you go, you don't have any sewing to do. Then of course, when you've got it all done, you'll join the last row at the same time. You'll work into the points of the first row, join them all together. I have a little bit more about that on the blog as well. And then work a single crochet edging all the way around both sides. And that is the basics of the join as you go method that's used in the star stuff cowl. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.